Hey Toy Collectors, Kevin here. I've been hearing a lot of rumors about Super 7 doing reaction G.I. Joes. Today, they released a teaser image, and I want to know what you guys think about this. I like reaction figures, and I love G.I. Joe, but I'm not totally sold on Joes with this form factor, because I always liked G.I. Joes being more posable than Kenner Star Wars figures. The teaser image shows the 80s G.I. Joe logo, so we'll assume these new figures are based on the G.I. Joe Real American Hero line, which is the most popular incarnation of the G.I. Joe franchise. Hasbro has made these figures for 12 years, so there are a lot of characters that Super 7 can pick from. The best-selling G.I. Joe characters are Duke, Cobra Commander, Snake Eyes, Destro, and Roadblock. You have other important characters like Scarlet, Storm Shadow, and Zartan, who are all pretty likely to be included. If this list goes on, you start thinking of characters like Lady J and Flint, Major Blood, oh yeah, all the guys Hasbro has released as part of the Classified series. There's also the obvious choice of army builders like Cobra Troopers, Vipers, Bats, Crimson Guards. Any collector line will want to include these types of characters for fans that want to army build. One other factor to consider when predicting figures that could be in this line is who can they reuse? Super 7, like any toy company, loves to reuse a mold. So just based on the predictions above, we could easily see Cobra Commander released in both his helmet and hooded head. Storm Shadow could be repainted as a Red Ninja and also a Cobra Ninja Viper. Roadblock and Duke could get Tiger Force repaints. Then again, with the stiff sculpt of reaction figures and the desire to reuse parts, they could go with the original 82 figures. Hawk, Clutch, Breaker, Short Fuse, Zap, Grunt, Snake Eyes, and the list goes on. But I would kind of hope that they learned from Gentle Giant's failed Jumbo Joe's line that fans like 82, but the most fun characters come from 84 to 86. It'll be really interesting to see what Super 7 releases. I wish them the best of luck with this. I'm all for G.I. Joe becoming a more popular brand again. And with the Snake Eyes movie coming out, now is the time to push to reinstate G.I. Joe as one of the most popular brands in the toy aisle. In the comments down below, let me know who you imagine the lineup for Wave 1 could be. Let me know if you'd be picking up any of these figures if they're released. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous tour review. Make sure to check out my other videos.